Hello dear students, welcome to mathematics class. In this class, let us discuss the reversal law. So here the statement of this law is the inverse of product of two elements of a group is the product of their inverses in the reverse order. So therefore, it is called as reversal law. Means inverse of the product. So here the product is AB and its inverse is the product of their inverses. Here we have two elements A and B. So their inverses are A inverse and B inverse in the reverse order. So therefore, here it is B inverse into A inverse. A is the first element, B is the second element in this product. But if you take the inverse of this product, this is equal to B inverse into A inverse. So therefore, AB whole inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse is the symbolic statement of the reversal law. Now we need to prove this one. Proof. Let G is a group. Let us consider G as a group and let A comma B belongs to G. G is a group and AB are the two elements of the group G. Since G is a group then that must satisfy the four properties closure law, associative law, identity law and inverse law. The st statement of the inverse law is each and every element must possess their inverses. So therefore, since A and B are the elements of a group G then their inverses must present in G. So therefore, A inverse, B inverse belongs to G. Since AB belongs to G and G is a group, hence we can write A inverse and B inverse belongs to G where A is the inverse of A, B inverse is the inverse of B. Now, let us consider AB into B inverse into a inverse is equal to here we have considered the product of a b and the element b inverse into a inverse now by using the associative property this can be written as a into b into b inverse into a inverse and this is equal to by using the inverse law b into b inverse is equal to what the identity element so therefore a into e into a inverse and here e into a inverse is equal to a inverse itself so therefore a into a inverse is equal to again the identity element so therefore here a b into b inverse a inverse is equal to the identity element and again consider B inverse into A inverse into AB in the reverse order. Here it is AB is the first element and here it is AB is the second element. So therefore, here B inverse into A inverse into A into B by using associative property and here B inverse this is the identity element E this one is B. Then B inverse E into B is equal to B only. Therefore, B inverse into B is the identity element. So, here by using these two conditions that is B inverse A inverse into AB is also the identity element. Here also it is the identity element. So, by using the statement of the inverse law that is if A star A inverse is equal to E or A inverse star A is equal to E, then what we can say that inverse of A 
is equal to a or sorry here inverse of a right what is the inverse of a that is a power minus 1 or a inverse. So, here here also we have got the same thing a b into this element is equal to what the identity element and b inverse into a inverse into a b is also the identity element. So, therefore, in place of a inverse we have b inverse into a inverse right then by using the identity sorry inverse law inverse of the element what is the inverse of this element that is equal to b inverse into a inverse because after multiplying this element by a b we are getting the identity element as the product. So, therefore, by using that inverse law if we are multiplying one element by any other element and if we got the identity element as the product then that element is the inverse of the other. So, therefore, by using that law we can say that inverse of a b is equal to b inverse into a inverse. The next one is prove that inverse of the inverse inverse of the inverse of an element in a group is the element itself that is inverse of a inverse is equal to a itself. So, it is the given statement inverse of the inverse is the element itself in any group. So, inverse of a inverse is a inverse of b inverse is b inverse of c inverse is c like that. So, therefore, this is the given theorem. Let us prove this one. Let G is a group, let G is a group and let A belongs to G. Since G is a group then it has to satisfy the inverse law. For all the elements A belongs to G there exists A inverse since G is a group. So, therefore, it implies that A inverse belongs to G. right and here consider consider a inverse is the element and its inverse its inverse is this one inverse of a inverse is equal to what the identity element e because g is a group and a inverse is the element of g then its inverse must be in g. So, therefore, by using inverse law a inverse into inverse of a inverse is equal to the identity element and this can be written as a inverse into a because a star a inverse equal to e and a inverse star a is equal to e. Since we have the identity element, this identity element can be written as A inverse into A, right. So, therefore, it implies that A inverse into A inverse whole inverse, this is equal to what? A inverse into A. And by using the left cancellation law, we can cancel out these two elements, A inverse on both the sides, then we get A inverse whole inverse is equal to A. So, this is by using the left cancellation law and this is by using inverse law. Similarly, now consider A inverse whole inverse into A inverse. Here it is A star A inverse, this form A star A inverse and here it is a second form that is A star A inverse sorry a inverse star a. This is also equal to the identity element by using the inverse law because this is the given element a inverse and its inverse that is inverse of a inverse. So, therefore, 
while multiplying the element and its inverse is equal to the identity element. So, therefore, the element and its inverse is equal to the identity element and this can be written as a into a inverse because the identity element a that is a star a inverse. Then this can be written as a inverse whole inverse into a inverse equal to a into a inverse these two are equal. Then by using the right cancellation law here a inverse is the element on the right side of a here and here inverse of a inverse. So, therefore, by using right cancellation law we can write that a inverse whole inverse is equal to a. Hence, in both the conditions in case of a star a inverse and a star a we got a inverse whole inverse equal to a here also a inverse whole inverse equal to a. So, therefore, we can conclude that a inverse whole inverse is equal to a for all a belongs to G. Whenever G is a group then this condition must satisfy that is inverse of inverse is the element itself. The next property of the group is if G is a group and E is the identity element in G then prove that B A B inverse whole power n is equal to B into A power n into B inverse. So, it is the property in group. Here also we can use the method of mathematical induction to prove this property. Here this can be done by using mathematical induction. Let us consider the given statement as P of n where P of n is B A B inverse whole power n is equal to B into A power n into B inverse. So, for the first step for n equal to 1 we need to verify the statement whether it is true or false. So, therefore, P of 1. So, the general statement is P of n and we are giving the value for n is equal to 1. So, therefore, that P of n becomes P of 1 then the statement becomes B A B inverse whole power 1 is equal to B into A power 1 B inverse which is equal to B A B inverse. So, here B A B inverse whole power 1 is equal to B A B inverse means both are same. So, it implies that P of n is true for n equal to 1. So, therefore, the first step is completed and here we have proved that the given statement P of n is true for n equal to 1. Now, the second step for n equal to m. So, then the P of n becomes P of m which is equal to what B a b inverse whole power m is equal to b into a power m into b inverse. So, here p of n is the given statement and that is equal to what b a b inverse whole power n equal to b power b into a power n into b inverse and here p of m that is b a b inverse whole power m is equal to b a power m b inverse. Assume that, assume that P of M is true. 
let us assume that this one is true by assuming this as a true statement we need to prove that the statement is true for n is equal to m plus 1 so therefore the third step is for n equal to m plus 1 so therefore p of m plus 1 this becomes b a b inverse whole power m plus 1 is equal to b into a power m plus 1 b inverse this we need to prove so therefore consider b a b inverse whole power m plus 1 now by using the law of indices we can split this product that as b a b inverse whole power m into b a b inverse so here its power is 1 and this is m then if you multiply if the bases are same then we need to add the powers so therefore that becomes m plus 1 now by using the second step in second step we have assumed that p of m is true p of m is true means this can be written as b into a power m into b inverse because this b a b inverse whole power m equal to what b a power m b inverse so therefore that we are using here then this is b a b inverse then by assuming sorry by using the associative property then we can write this as b a power m and here it is b inverse b and here a b inverse by using the associative property and the next here b a power m b inverse into b and here it is a b inverse here b inverse into b since g is a group it has to satisfy the inverse law in inverse law we can say that a star a inverse is equal to e or a inverse star a is equal to e so therefore by using that inverse law b inverse into b can be written as the identity element so therefore b a power m this one is the identity element and here it is a b inverse right then here e into a that a itself because e is the identity element then this becomes b into a power m into a into b inverse and this is equal to b into a power m plus 1 into b inverse so therefore on lhs we have b a b inverse whole power m plus 1 and on rhs we got the result as b a power m plus 1 into b inverse so therefore therefore p of n is true for n equal to m plus 1 hence by mathematical induction p of n is true for all n so by using the mathematical induction we have proved that b a b inverse whole power n is equal to b into a power n into b inverse and that is true for all the values of n